Black history continues to be made today. Celebrating Black History Month during February, we welcome in Chris Jackson, the executive director of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus, to speak on the history made across Michigan. Now, Chris, going back all the way to the Civil War, yes, how has black history evolved? That's right. I mean, black history is happening every day of the week, right? Every day of the year. Um, so it's not just in February that we celebrate black history because it's throughout the entire year. Um, how it's evolved is you think about the Civil War and, and the Underground Railroad and, and the role that Michigan ultimately played in, in, in theory being the last stop before um, a lot of folks found their way over to Canada. Um, oddly enough, a lot of folks found that Michigan was more progressive, similar, and ultimately ended up planting their roots here. Um, and that's why we have the rich history that we do related to black people being in Michigan. How have the roots built in Michigan extended and creating more of those impactful events in the state? Yeah, so uh, look, there are, I think it's far past time that we're still talking about the first of, of anything, uh, but, but we are, and those folks should be celebrated. You know what I mean? You have, um, in, in terms of roots being planted, you have individuals that are trailblazers in a lot of ways. Um, William Ferguson was the first black elected official uh, in the state of Michigan, which um, in the 1800s, which is important. Uh, but even to this day, we're celebrating black history when you talk about trailblazers, when you uh, talk about Speaker Tate, uh, who was the first black speaker of the house here in Michigan. Um, the Lieutenant Governor, uh, Garland Gilchrist, our first black Lieutenant Governor. Um, and so while we appreciate and we celebrate those folks and it's important for there to be a first, uh, it's important that it becomes more of a commonplace and more of a normalcy that we stop talking about the first and just talk about what progression and advancement ultimately looks like. And you've said that multiple times there, speaking of the first time that it's happening. And again, black history continues to evolve today. Right. What still needs to be done? Yeah. So. It, I think we just need to remember the past, right? I think uh, there's a reason why we do the exhibit that we do over at the Capitol. I think it's really important that we remember that history rhymes with itself. Uh, and in order for us to continue to progress and advance in the ways that we want to, we need to acknowledge what has happened and give us cues as to what we need to do to move on, move forward. Have that awareness right. and having that awareness by educating yourself. Yeah. And there's an event happening this Friday where people can educate themselves. That's right. Uh, the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus is hosting its annual Black History Month uh, event, celebration and reception. Uh, it's going to be at the beautiful and historical Charles H. Wright uh, Museum of African American History. So uh, if anyone is interested, it's open up to the public uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. And would love to have whoever can attend uh, come join us. All right, Chris, thank you for joining me in Michigan Matters, thank sharing the impact me. that black history has had in our state. We are going to send it to First Alert Meteorologist Colton Sikoraki because, Colton, while it's feeling like spring today, that's going to change soon. Colton, tell us how it's feeling outside, <laughs> please. Hey, it feels great out there.